Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. It's time for another Q&A. At 100,000 light years across, the Milky Way galaxy is a big place. But as much as we look, so far it seems no one else is living in it. Like we're the only residents in an entire neighborhood. It seems trick-or-treating in our galaxy would be very disappointing. Is anybody home? Hello? It's possible no one else is home because there never was anybody else to begin with. To get an idea of how likely it is the galaxy is empty, American astronomer and astrophysicist Frank Drake came up with, no, not that Drake, different Drake, this Drake. He came up with the Drake Equation in 1961. The Drake Equation has fueled skeptics and those who want to believe alike because the last four terms in it are estimates that no one has solid numbers numbers for, but by Drake's own calculations, there should be about 50,000 detectable civilizations in our galaxy. Eleven years before Drake formulated his equation, a man who built a nuclear reactor in a squash court wondered aloud at his lunch break, where is everybody? That man was Italian physicist Enrico Fermi. Fermi was known for coming up with clever ways to estimate answers to difficult problems, and he reasoned that an intelligent spacefaring civilization could create a galactic empire in as little as 10 million years. Considering the Milky Way is 10 to 12 billion years old, 10 million years is downright speedy. This gives rise to the Fermi Paradox. If every star system with habitable planets could have been colonized by now, why haven't we heard a peep from the void? I mean, it's not like we're not listening. Aliens, are you ignoring us? Did we do something to offend you? Probably. Since 1960, Frank Drake and others have been scanning the stars listening for spikes in microwave radiation, but it's like trying to tune a radio with a bandwidth 15 times bigger than your cars. Earth itself has been sending radio waves into space for hundreds of years, meaning aliens with advanced radio telescopes a hundred light years away could discover us, but that's a pretty small bubble in the grand scheme of things. And remember that once they got the message, it would take a hundred years to reply. So maybe we can't find their signals because because aliens aren't close enough or haven't sent us messages directly. That's one possible solution to the Fermi Paradox, but there are many more. It's been proposed that signals have been sent and we're not smart enough to notice them. Or aliens have decided that we're not worth their time. Maybe we're living in a planetary backwater, or civilizations don't survive long enough to explore space. After all, the same Enrico Fermi who wondered why no one visits helped invent the atomic bomb. Or maybe the conditions for intelligent life have only recently just been right, and the first species to explore the galaxy will be us. Do you have an answer to Fermi's riddle? Do you believe in life on other planets? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video and want to see more like it, you can contribute to our Patreon here. As always, I'm Blacko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.